Today, we are going to talk about packaging communication. An important stage after manufacturing of goods is their preparation for shipment, which involves packaging and the labeling of goods to be exported. The packaging can be done within the export company, or the job can be assigned to an outside packaging company. So, during the process of contract fulfillment, it is necessary to make sure the design of packing between the exporter and the importer. So, today's learning objectives are: first, some expressions of packaging; then, the skills to draft a letter of confirming the design of packing. It will include the structure and content of the letter. Now come to some typical phrases and expressions of packing. Number one, packing. Uncountable. 货物包装包装法包装材料油纸包装易碎物品的材料 For example, I think you find the packing beautiful and quite well done. Pay extra postage and packing. Two, the phrases about packing: compression packing, hanging packing, neutral packing, customary packing, packing list, packing charges, packing clause, packing cost, seaworthy packing, manner of packing, package, 用纸包裹或用箱盒所盛之物包裹 The postman brought me a large package. 盒、箱等包装用物，包装商品的小盒、小包、小袋。Verb， 将某物包装，如为出售。Their products are always attractively packaged. Packet，packet packet, 美式英语通常做 package， 意为包装商品的小盒、小包、小袋。For example. A packet of biscuits, cigarettes, tea, etc. 一小包饼干、香烟、茶叶等。用小包、小箱、小盒所盛之物，小包裹。商店中某些商品以 packet 小包装形式出售。美式英语用 pack. A packet of sweets, crisps, cigarettes. A packet or pack of cigarettes. Now let's look at the difference between parcel, package, packaging. Parcel, 美式英语译作 package， 指包起来，常用牛皮纸包裹邮寄的物品。The postman rang the bell because he had a parcel or package to deliver. 英式英语中 package 通常指携带的，而不是寄送的包裹。Packaging 是指商店售出商品或邮寄物品的包装材料。Now let's see some common expressions of packing. In 用某种容器包裹。Walnuts are packed in double gunny bags. In of each 用某种容器包装，每件若干。For example, men's shirts are packed in wooden cases of ten dozen each. In each containing, 用某种容器包装，每件内装若干。Nylon socks are packed in wooden cases, each containing fifty dozen. Two, 若干件装于一件某件容器。Folding chairs are packed two pieces to a carton. Each in and two, 每单位装某种容器，若干单位装另一种较大的容器。Each pair of nylon socks is packed in a poly bag and twelve pairs to a box. Two and two, 若干单位装某种容器。若干此种容器装入另一种较大的容器。Pens are packed twelve pieces to a box and two hundred boxes to a wooden case. After we look at some phrases used in writing letters of packing, now let's come to the basic structure of letter writing. If we are the sailor, 
we were sending a letter to confirm the packing when the goods are ready for shipment. And we will use the following structure. First is the opening sentences. We have talked about it in the layout of letter. Then stating the specific packing requirements. Third is the closing sentences. Now let's explain it one by one. The latter should begin by telling the other party what he is replying to and the intention of writing. Look at this example. Thank you for your letter of June twenty third. In replying to your letter of April three, we make confirmation on packing as follows. Thank you for your letter of April sixteen, in which you proposed packaging and marking for the furniture. This is to confirm the receipt of your letter of April sixteen, in which you proposed packaging and marking for the furniture. Following the opening sentences, you can state the specific packing requirements. Look at the example. The silk goods are to be wrapped in craft paper, then in wooden cases. On the outpacking, mark wording, handle with care. The canned goods are to be packed in cartons with double straps. This part can also be expressed in attachment, and you can write like, "Please see attached package file of heat gun." Following the description of specific packing requirements, you can express your attitude. For example, if you have any question, please let me know. In the final paragraph, we can close the ending by expressing wishes for a response. For example, your early reply will be highly appreciated. We look forward to your early reply. Now let's look at a sample letter. Dear sirs. Thank you for your letter of 10 May. The cups you ordered will be ready for shipment on June 12th. We will pack the goods as follows. The cups would be packed in paper cartons each, 10 paper cartons to a wooden case. Each case is lined with foam plastics in order to protect the goods against press. Please mark the cases with shipping mark, with the destination and contract number as follows. An individual case should be clearly marked with "handle with care," "fragile," and other necessary marks. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Your early reply will be highly appreciated. Yours faithfully. There, you can see the first paragraph replies to the receipt of letter May ten. The second, third, and fourth paragraphs describe the specific packing requirements. Finally, they end the letter by indicating the hope of early reply. If the second part states by enclosure, we can change the letter in this way. Thus, the letter is much simplified. The details should refer to the attachment. Well, today we've learned some phrases related to packing and the skills to draft a letter of confirming packing. In case import or export wants to change the packing, they should provide the detail, the reasons, and give the request for packing. You can find some sample letters by yourself for reference. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.